it's Miss Andrea. Welcome back to Sunday Fun Day. Um, today we're going to make a super adorable closed pink horse. So now the summer reading theme is Tales for Tales. So I wanted to pick out a lot of good animal crafts. So this is what your little guy should look like, or girl, at the end. I think it's super cute. So you'll get paint, you'll get foam to make the head out of, a craft stick for the body, clothespins for the legs, this is the saddle, googly eyes, and of course, um, for the tail and for the hair, yarn. Alright, so you just really have to provide a paintbrush. So let's start by painting. Alright, so move all this out of the way so you don't get paint on them. Now I put down a piece of paper even on my tray so that you don't have to worry about it getting everywhere. Um, so what it says in the directions is to paint them, but also keep an eye on them because you don't want them to get stuck and painted together. So as it's drying, your hands might get a little, you know, this is just regular paint. Um, so just open and close them. Like I said, you might get a little bit of paint on your hands, but you could wear gloves too if you want. Um, just so they don't get stuck together, because you're going to want to make the legs. Right? Alright. Perfect. That's paint. Do, do, do. And that is a nice color. You can thank one of our pages who actually just graduated high school. She mixed together some nice colors to give you this pretty brown. There we go. So let me know in the comments how your summer reading is going. I'm excited about mine because, as you guys know, I get some free books, right? And I like when I read them or whatnot to bring them in to give to you guys. But sometimes they're just electronic, so I can't bring them in. But I have all my most anticipated books for the year. So that's exciting. Okay, here's this. There's paint everywhere. There you go. I'm going to paint the bottom, see if it stays, and if it's not good, if it gets messed up, um, let's do it again once the other side dries. But for time purposes. Do that. Alright, I'm going to keep painting, and I'll see you guys soon. Alright, so let's work on the head of the horse now. So it took me a few tries to draw this. Um, actually, I had one that I thought would work better. It's smaller, but with the mane, I actually went with the bigger one. But see how it's very hard to erase off the back? So you guys should really practice, you know, grabbing just a spare piece of paper and practicing to draw the horse's head. So what I did was... Here's the picture I worked off of. So see how it's flat on the bottom and then the neck's pretty long and curved. And then there's an ear. And then this has a little curve and his nose goes out. And then flat across the bottom. Right? Otherwise he kind of looks like a cat if you don't do it like that. Um, which you could make a cat. <laughs> but today we're making a horse. So, this is the foam. So, like I said, it's very hard to erase off of this. So, then you cut out your horse's head. <laughs> right now, I'm heating up my hot glue gun. If you have tacky glue, you can use that. Or hot glue. All right. It's just in order to get it to stick to the foam. 
you want it um, to be a substantial glue. Okay, and I'm taking my time, right? You want to take your time. There we go. My paint is actually still drying. So even if you have to stop and eat dinner and um, come back to it later, that's actually what I plan on doing. So we have kind of two piles of string that you got home. One's a little bit longer, which is for the tail, and one's a little bit shorter. You just, you have to separate them, you know, at home. Um, that took me all of a minute to separate. It's not that much. So, and if anything, even if you don't, you could cut some of the tail ones shorter, but you can't make any longer. So, <laughs> what I do is you're gonna glue the hair on the back side of the horse and then kind of flip it over. So that's what they did here. See how it's, how it's flipped over? All right, so let's do that. I just, I wanted to show you what I did wrong though because I want you to learn from my mistakes, right? So we have our yarn for our mane. Let's slide it over this way. And you just want to make sure you know the strings, the top parts at least line up. You could always cut these when you're done gluing. So you want your hot glue or your tacky glue, whatever you're using. And leave um, room for the ear, right? Because you don't want, you don't want the hair over the ear. And it actually gives you something nice to hold on to while you're doing the hot glue. And you could put a little like in the, like almost like a V. So there's that. Don't burn your fingers. Okay. We want them to look pretty, but we want you not to be in pain at the same time. Pull it from the paper. Cut the bottom ends off. Get the bottom ends off there you go. without cutting your foam. Right, you don't want to do that. And then look, look at that luscious mane. Look at that. And then if you want, you can put more glue on this side if you want it to stay in a specific way. Anything like that. So now that you have the mane done, you can get the little eye. Right? So like, yeah, if you want to spread this out nicely, let's put the eye. Squish it on. You can even use the hot glue for the eye, too. Um, Okay, so now, alright guys, so now it's time to put your horse together. So, I put way too much paint on mine, so I actually let it sit overnight. If you want, you could obviously put less paint on, um, or do like I did, let it sit overnight, right? So, what I'm going to do now is we have the head all made, right? With the pretty hair. So I'm going to put here the tail. And then after that, it's super simple. You put the legs on. Um, while it was drying, just make sure it kind of stays where it can open. It was a little stuck this morning, um, but not a lot. Not a lot at all. Um, so, but just something to keep in mind. So I'm going to put a little hot glue, because that, for me, is what works best with yarn. Okay. 
Okay, always be careful of hot glue. I say it all the time, but it's important. Try to line this all up. And if it's not um, even to how you like it, then obviously you could trim some of it. So I'm just, I'm gonna press, but I'm gonna make sure that my fingers are on top of the string, okay? And you don't have to do that, or you could use something else so your hands are nowhere near it. Just try not to glue it to the stick, <laughs> right? There you go. See, mine got a little glue to the stick, but that's okay. So now, They've got a tail. So don't worry about these ends because it will be covered by your legs. So now for the legs, you want them to be like almost like a triangle because you're going to try to balance the weight, right, of the, of the horse. Otherwise, it might just fall right over. So... Try, and then if it doesn't work out right, try again. Let's see how this is going to cover that. Okay. And you want them to be, you know, same height. So that looks pretty good so far. Then you're going to put one up front, and then you're going to hook, not the hair, but this here, the bottom, the head, on with your other clip. All right. I know it's a little backwards to you guys. I'm going to um, turn it around for you soon. So, yeah, just watch the hair. it down to do it and just straighten it out a little okay and there we go and now I'm gonna turn it around so you can see the face. But here's the saddle. And you just drape that right over. Like that. And squish a little so it's really held to it. All right, I'm gonna turn it around so you can see the face. So there you go. There's our little horse. You can cut its tail. Or if you put it on a bookshelf, you could drape it over the bookshelf. And I think it's super cute. I'm not sure what the camera's getting, so I'm gonna lay it down. Make sure we can get it. All right, I hope you guys had fun. I'm gonna put my guy on my on my bookcase. Um, put in the comments, what do you think I should name her? I don't know. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.